Hello friends, today I am going to show you uh, what is stream aggregator, hash match aggregator and concatenate and short operator. Okay, so for this I am taking AdventureWorks 2019 database. Uh, here I, if I go with select star from human resource dot employee table. Here I am having 290 records. Okay, so what I am doing right now here is I am using just count function. I am just use the copy and here I am pasting. So I'm just copying this command and pasting here. So here what I'm doing, I am just want to count uh, the records. Okay. So if I am enabling the actual execution plan, click execute. So if I go here, so uh, like I got steam aggregate. So what is my main difference in SQL Server when we have aggregate operations like some average count? Okay, we we get like a stream aggregator, agash aggregator. If the data is shorted, then we get stream aggregator. If the data is not yet shorted on those columns, we get hash aggregator. So these are the two difference uh, for between stream aggregator and hash aggregator. Okay, hash aggregator like a stream aggregator will get row by row operation. Hash aggregator will work with build and froze uh, probe operations like first input table will all all columns data will row by row data will get into hash key values and that it will probe to the another table. So that's how uh, like um, uh, it will works with uh, both the hash stream and uh, hash aggregators. Okay, but which one is good? Which if data is shorted, then stream aggregator. If data is not good, hash aggregator is also is is good. Okay, but uh, coming to what both operators are, uh, I can say like stream aggregator is good because the data is shorted. But if you want to use and you want to force to use this one, uh, we any one of these you can force, but it will not recommend it. So that's option if you seen the gain of performance adding by join ins then you can use otherwise i recommend to leave this choice to the database engine itself okay so if i do the count here i am getting stream aggregator function now what i am doing here i am adding one job title Job title count. So here I am doing count group by group by job title. Okay. So if I do this, I got sort operator. Why I got sort operator? I am trying to uh, sort the data using the job title in the job title i don't have any index so if i do with the create index index and index id iphone job title i am naming like this on uh, on human resource dot employee on which started table job title i'm close it so I am creating non cluster index. Previously, I used to get a short operator. Now, if I do that, it will uh, again, it, short operator has been removed and we got back to the stream aggregator. Okay. And uh, now, what I, if I want to use, uh, for example, this data is already start, started, right? Now I want if that let's assume that this data is not yet star, started and and it is going to use hash mash operator. Okay, let's assume like that. But you want to convert. I'm using two qu same queries uh, with go command. If I want to use uh, like option uh, one bracket order group. Hash group. So both I am both both queries are same, but yeah, I am using one one by default. It will use hash match uh, stream aggregator, 
but i am trying to uh, this just want to forcing the joint hint to use the stream aggregator and here has uh, hash aggregator if i click execute here see now i uh, got the result and both results are same okay now if i use this query is using 16% this is using 84% now see here we are seeing hash mass aggregator here we are seeing the um, stream aggregator now you decide and let me know which one is the best operator for aggregations okay so this is how uh, like you can say that okay how we can say in the interview what these about data if the data is sorted then and we have uh, aggregate functions like count average sum then stream aggregators will uh, come into picture if the data is not yet sorted uh, then uh, it will uh, use sort operation or it will use uh, this thing as well okay and hash match operator if we are we are if we are using two or more tables uh, in join conditions or those tables or data is not yet sorted then it will use hash match aggregate okay so this is how you need to answer um, in in interview but uh, what about concatenate in concatenate okay and you mean to say like uh, I, i'm just removing all of this okay i just uh, pasting here and you come here so select concat in concat concat and job title job title and we need to pass three arguments same thing i need to pass this thing as well so we are concatenating two columns okay two columns i am concatenating job title job name in the execution plan we don't see that operator okay you just see can it's, it's just like function and like uh, we don't see the uh, that operator um, as of now so when we do when we combine two columns this concatenator will come into picture okay so and remaining all operators we will see in next video i hope you may like this video thank you